Today we're gonna to talk about the reasons and the benefits of dating a transgender woman and why we are probably most likely, I don't wanna be biased, but why we're probably most likely a better candidate of uh, dating than like, you know, your average bish. The first reason being, we are strong, strong individuals. We've had to endure a lot, you know, within our life and we've been through a lot and it just makes us stronger people and it makes us really sweet. You go through as much as a trans woman who's been like either kicked out of her home or she's been beat up by people, by bullies and stuff. He's gonna be a very, very loving, caring person because she doesn't want anybody to feel what she's been through, you know? So she's gonna be super sweet and she's just gonna be a loving person. Bro, Num bro hold on, hold on, pause. Oh my gosh. I the reason why it's so better to date a transgender woman is because we're just some strong individuals. Well, duh, you was born a man. I mean, obviously, we're naturally strong. I, dog, <laughs> there is no benefit of dating no trans woman. At the end of the day, you are born a man. All I'm doing is dating a man. How is that a beneficial? How are y'all better than dating your average, your average woman? Okay, how is that? How is that a bit? How is that beneficial? You know, how is that beneficial? It's two men in the relationship, so obviously somebody come at us. We go, you know what I'm saying, bro? Ain't no benefits. Ain't no trans woman. Come on, man. Y'all men. Y'all straight. Y'all biologically men. And and can't nothing change that. You can't change. You can't change that, bro. No matter what you got cut off. No matter if you got your tatas done and your boo boo done, your booty done. No matter what you got done, bro. It don't matter. You're still biologically a a a, a freaking man. Y'all need to stop downplaying actual women. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to stop downplaying actual women. And, and this is what... Oh, Lord. I swear. Number two for why you should date a trans woman instead. I'm just kidding. We are more appreciative of the small things. We don't need you to, like, you know, go buy us an expensive lunch or, you know, spend a hundred dollars on something for me to be happy. We just want you to like hold our hands in public. We just want you to be happy that you're with us. Like, you know, little things like holding your hand in public can make us super happy because, you know, there are people out there that want to hide us. So, you know, we're we're easy to please. We don't we don't have like super unobtainable like standards. Like we do have standards. Not gonna I don't wanna make it sound like we don't have standards, but you know we we are not just like stuck up and like bougie and just wanting the world from you. We just appreciate the small things. Get it where I'm living. <laughs> Number tres. Oh no, 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 I wanna say that in Spanish. Numero tres. <laughs> Number three for why it is beneficial to date a transgender woman is not all guys wanna have kids. Believe it or not, right now I'm talking to a guy who doesn't wanna have kids. And that's where I actually got this little pointer from. Um, you know, we can't get pregnant which means we don't have periods either. So a lot of guys don't want kids. There's so much pressure to have a kid when there's a guy and a female, you know, in a relationship, there's like, oh, well, no, hurry it up. Like, we want you to get married, have some kids, you know? Not all guys- But but do you realize that even though all guys don't want kids, we can still be with a woman and not have kids. I, I don't know if that didn't click in your head. You know what I'm saying? You can still be with a woman. First of all, you know what I'm saying? For the people out there that are having uh, sexual intercourse. It, if you're not trying to have kids, it's caused one thing. It, it's one thing. Can you guess it? Protection. It's, it's simple. Simple as that. Simple as that. If you don't want to have kids, that's the best option. I'm not saying it's going to be... I'm not saying that you're not going to have a kid. You know what I'm saying? Because protection it, it ain't always protected. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't saying that, oh, you, you use protection 24-7, you're not going to have a kid. No, I'm not saying that at all. But it's your best option. Ain't no point of going to another man because you're talking about, oh, we don't have periods. Well, obviously, you're a man. You know what I'm saying? You that you guys don't have periods. All guys don't want But it's not all about sexual intercourse all the time. Relationships is not built off just sex, bro. That's what y'all feel to realize. It's not built off sex. If a woman have a period, y'all acting like it lasts for nine months. No, it does not. A period comes on every month. It don't last for weeks. It don't last for two weeks. It don't last for three weeks. It lasts for a couple of days. If your if your man can't go a couple of days without having a sexual intercourse, bro, you need to leave the man. Because come on, man, it's not that deep. 
it is not that deep that you can't go three to four days, however, however long a woman's period lasts. Sometimes it always varies. It's not that deep that you can't go a couple days without getting in a punana. You know what I'm saying? It's not that deep. Literally, bro. I don't know the benefits that she's talking or he's talking about. Whatever. Whatever you want to because I don't know the benefits that they're talking about. Ain't no benefits of dating no trans, bro. You just dating a man. A dating a man that's dressed like a just dressed like a woman. That's it. That's all you're doing. As simple as that. The the outer world may not know that this is a man that you're dating, but when you get in that when you get in that doors behind closed doors, you know what you're looking at. And nine times out of ten, it may not be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It may not be the poo-poo. It may be a ding a lane. To each his own though. If you want to go ahead and date a trans and you this is why you dating trans because you don't want kids and you don't want you don't like the periods, all you doing is dating for sex. That's all you doing. That's, it, that's literally all you doing, bro. I just want kids. So, you know, if you don't want kids, we're the perfect candidate for you. Like at first I was like, hmm, you know, maybe I'm I'm sad because I want to have my own children too. But you know, whatever. Like, you know, I'll I'll keep my body nice and toned and fit and you know keep it stretch mark free you know I do have stretch marks on the side of my booty because it's growing I would say number four would be that we know a man's needs more than your average girl the reason that being is it's because we've been on the other side if you're catching my drift number five hope I feel like number five is because trans women are more feminine and make more of an effort the reason that being is, is because we're making up for what we, for what we lacked in our. Hey, run that back, DJ. Oh no, run that back, DJ. What did, what did you just say? Are more feminine and make more of an effort. The reason that being is, is because we're making up for what we, for what we lacked in our previous life. And, you know, we care about our appearance and we just want to look spruced up and feminine at all times. Guys love that. Guys appreciate it. I heard from a few guys that I've dated, like, you know what, like, I really appreciate trans women because they actually take the time to get ready and don't take advantage of being a woman. Oh my god, this hair is getting on my nerves right here. You guys actually, like, take the time and effort to be feminine and to be girly, and you guys aren't trying to, like, step all over our toes all the time. Feminism nowadays, I swear. You guys are like, well, you know, girls want to be a girl but want to act like a dude. It's like, you can't be chilling over there with the dudes and trying to act like a dude, but expect him to treat you like a woman. No, honey, that's just not how it works. So sorry to break it to ya. It's not how it works. My hair is just not agreeing with me today. We're just gonna... Okay. Okay, bitch. You need to stay. There we go. Finally, last but not least, I'm sure that I can come up with more reasons um, for why it's more beneficial to date a transgender woman. But we are more accepting. Come on now. We're probably the most talked about group, minority, and made fun of group ever. We are super accepting because we know what it's like to be picked on and to be judged for being different. Oh my God. So it's like if a guy... Bro, you acting like your average woman don't know how it feels to get picked on. You acting like your average woman don't do half of the things that you said. Like, come on, bro. It's women out here who taste their time to get ready. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it, it's a lot of beautiful, beautiful, real women out here. You know what I'm saying? Do you say you're more feminine? You know, you're more feminine than your average woman. But how is that even possible? How can, how can you be... No, actually, I take that back. It is possible. It is possible. Because a lot of men, you know, a lot of men wasn't raised in a, 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 um, a father household uh, with the father in the house. So a lot of men are out here a little too soft. You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, I was blessed because I was raised in a, I was raised in a single, a single mother household, no father. You know what I'm saying? And I was raised to be as strong as I am. Because I ain't soft. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of... It's, I definitely could... I definitely could say, okay, maybe some of these men, like this man, uh, can be more feminine than your, average, than your average woman. But that's not cute. As a man, you should not be more feminine. You should not. You know what I'm saying? You should not. I'm sorry. You should not be no... You should not even be proud to even say that. You know what I'm saying? You should not even be proud. Oh, we're more feminine. Like, no, you should not be proud to say that, bro. That... No. <laughs> You people are, man, you people are crazy. Like something different. Like, you know, we're going to be like, hey, like, kudos to that. We just genuinely accept 
it for what it is. They don't judge you. So if you're a little weirdo and you are afraid that a, an average girl will judge you, hey, whatever. You know? <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. If you ladies are... Okay. Man, look. Oh my gosh. Let me... Uh, dog. You... You trans people. I, seriously, not all. Because I don't even know all. I don't even, like, communicate with a lot of trans women, whatever, trans men, trans women, I don't even communicate, I don't even know anybody that's personally a trans, but what I could possibly, what I could say is, number one, there is no benefits of dating a man, okay, a man dating a man, now, I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know, whether your beliefs or not, you know what I'm saying, and I was once upon a time in that field of trying to figure out what I want, trying to figure out, do I want girls or boys, because I was touched at a young age, and I'm not afraid to admit that, but <laughs> you see me now, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight. Man, I'm straight as my hairline, bro. Right now, you can't see my hairline, but you know that thing be straight. You know what I'm saying? But that's besides the point. The point is, dog, I, I, like I said, I don't care what nobody think. At the end of the day, dating a man as a man, dating a woman as a woman is an abomination to God, whether you believe it or not, bro. God didn't put men and men to be together. You know what I'm saying? God wants us to be fruitful. He wants us to multiply, bro. He wants us to be fruitful and have kids. You, like, even if some men out here that don't want kids, and some people out here that don't want kids, but at the end of the day, that doesn't give you the right to say, okay, since I don't want kids, I'm going to go ahead and date a man, a man who dresses as a woman, because at least I can feel comfortable, because, I mean, technically, she, technically, he's dressing as a woman, you know what I'm saying, but he's biologically a man, so... Uh, he can't have kids, but at least I feel comfortable going outside because they think I'm dating a woman. Like, no, bro. No. That's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? But to each his own, I'm not out here to judge nobody. You feel me? Because, I would, like I said, I was once in that field, so I'm not out here to judge anybody. It's your life. It's your life. All I'm here to do is tell you the truth. And if you believe... Oh, my mic was twisted. I hope you guys was hearing me. Um, I'm just out here to tell the truth. And if you believe it, you believe it. If you don't, you don't. It's no hate against the LGBT community. It's no hate against trans people. But what I'm going to say is that you're not going to sit here and discredit the women that was born women. You're not going to sit here and discredit the beautiful, lovely women that are actually women. They're not faking nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's some. Lo it's a lot of beautiful women that's natural. They not got. They don't got no BBLs. They just a natural body. I love my women to be natural, natural. It's a lot of beautiful average women that's natural, and no man can compete with an actual woman. You can't compete with an actual woman. Seriously, I'm just saying it's not gonna hit the same. Even if it comes to sexual intercourse, it's not gonna hit the same than doing it with a woman and doing it with a person that wanna be a woman. I'm not sticking nothing in the booty hole, bro. I'm just not doing it, bro. It's just weird. That's just me. That's just me. Uh, seriously, you can cancel me all day long, but that's just me. I don't, like, I just don't see no benefits, bro. You talk, you you saying that you can do this and you do that and you do this as a man. Half of the stuff you said, you should be ashamed that you even said half of that stuff that you said as a man. I know that the LGBT community go cancel, but like I said, it's no hate and no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? I don't support the stuff. You know, I don't support it, but I definitely respect y'all as humans, as people. That's just one thing I stand on. I will always respect somebody for the decisions that they make. For the decisions that they make, because at the end of the day, it's not my life. It's not my body. You do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want to do. I'm just here to tell you the truth. And if you don't believe it, you don't believe it. If you accept it, you accept it. At the end of the day, it's only one truth, and we all should know the truth. That's just how I look at things. But don't discredit women. Don't discourage your average woman, as you say, quote unquote. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support. And I was finna say in Jesus' name. <laughs> hey, but thank you y'all for all the support, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.